14 million photographs, 300 reels of motion picture, about 200 sound recordings. That is the number of documents stored in the National Archives. From being first created to today, the National Archives has served as a very important purpose in American's history by housing historical documents. For 150 years, the U.S. government did not have a system to preserve important documents. When Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence in 1776, he said, Time and accident are committing daily havoc on the original deposits in our public offices. Our founding government has documented its policies and decisions. Around the time of 1810, the United States had different agencies collecting all the important documents, which led to the destruction and loss of many papers. The articles were founded attics, underwater, warehouse, burned, lost, and stolen. In 1895, Franklin Jameson started to campaign to make the National Archives. In 1921, a fire destroyed a lot of the records, including the 1890 census. The fire happened in Washington Commercial Department building. In 1926, Congress approved the building of the National Archives to beautify the center of Washington, D.C., as well as provide space for the growing federal bureaucracy. The National Archives, official depository for records of the U.S. government, established in 1934 by an act of Congress. The building of the National Archives was finished in 1935. The National Archives was incorporated into the General Service Administration in 1949, but in 1985, it was made in independent agencies, the National Archives and Records Administration. After gathering so many documents, the National Archives built a second archives in College Park, Maryland. Today, the, the building in College Park, Maryland is the NARA headquarters. Many problems arose during the construction of the National Archives. In 1926, the U.S. government started to build the National Archives to hold all the United States documents. A committee decided to put the building between 7th and 8th Street and halfway between the Capitol building and the White House. The architect was John Russell Pope. He also designed the National Gallery of Art and Jefferson Memorial. Herbert Hoover broke the ground for the National Archives in February of 1933. It took four years to finish the outside of the building. The building of the archives took many years because the archives required special air handling filters, reinforced flooring, and thousands of feet of storage. Significant problems had arisen because the massive structure was to be constructed above an underground stream. So 8,575 piles had to be driven into the unstable soil before pouring a huge concrete bowl as a foundation. Also, another thing that happened was the construction of the archives began the darkest days of the Depression. So suppliers of limestone and granite argued to have the government use their, their stone. They completed the building of the archives in 1835. The total cost was $12 million, which was doubled than expected. Almost as soon as Pope's original design was completed, a project to fill the archive's interior courtyard began, doubling the storage space. 120 staff members moved into the archives in 1935. The building of the archives led to the construction of many buildings in the Federal Triangle. The National Archives has grown from groundbreaking to expanding to what it is today. Today, the National Archives displays many of America's most important and historical documents. Today, you will see the Charges of Freedom in the viewing hall. On December 13, 1952, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were transferred from the Library of Congress to the Archives. Every day, government agencies make new documents that come from the three branches of government. Some could be transferred to the Archives. The NARA is responsible for managing all the president's documents and records, all the way back to Herbert Hoover. The NARA stores all the records in acid-free folders and boxes. They are stored in dark spaces in rooms with consistent temperature and humidity. 
Some files of the archives are stored in caves because the temperature and humidity are right for preserving papers. The NARA employs about 3,000 full and part-time people. In all the archives all over the world, there are about a billion items. The 10th and today's National Archivist name is David Farrow. David's job is to make sure older documents like the Constitution are preserved and make sure modern day stuff is preserved like the President's tweets. Today the archives has expanded a lot since it was first started. Now you know about how Thomas Jefferson wanted to start the archives and how it is important to preserve these documents for future generations.